Hello, this is Brother Ellis Stanley Sr., and welcome to the Bridgeport Church of Christ Midday Prayer Session in Devo. We're excited that you have taken the time to join us in our fellowship together as we read from God's Word. It is our prayer that it will help you in your daily prayer time with God. So at this time, let us be joyful in his presence and go to him in prayer after our reading. Amen. Today's title will be Throwing in a Worldly Taught Lifestyle. And the scripture is taken from Mark chapter 8, verses 34 through 38. And let us read. Jesus had just got to uh, coming off a harshly rebuke, rebuke to Peter. And then he summons, verse 34 says, and he summons the multitude with his disciples and said to them, I guess he wanted to get some things straight and some things clear here about what was taught in the world and what he's teaching and the commitment that has to be made uh, and, and a sacrifice that has to be made. And check this out. He summons the multitude with his disciples and said to them, if anyone wishes to come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. Because after all, that's what he did. He left heaven. For whoever wishes to save his life shall lose it, but whoever loses his life for my sake and the gospel shall save it. For what does it profit a man to gain the whole world and forfeit his soul? For what shall a man give an account for his soul? For whoever is ashamed of me and my words in this adulterous and sinful gener generation the Son of Man will also be ashamed of him when he comes in the glory and his Father with the holy angels. Now, this is a, a prophetic uh, taught mindset of Jesus. And this is our midday thought. Now, Peter denied Jesus three times, right? So that's in these passages that we just read. Gaining the world, that's taught in the passages that we read. And coming to the altar with your cross and leaving it there is taught in this passages of Scripture. Think about that. When I say prophetic, I'm meaning that Jesus made a stand here of what the world teaches and what he is teaching about the revolution that he's going to set up. And that way that the world teaches, we have to throw that away. We, you've got to toss it, get rid of it. Because he's talking about personal sacrifices, just the way he personally sacrifice glory to come down here and be part of his own creation. If it was necessary for the son, it is necessary for the father. Because he calls us friends now. And a servant is no greater than his master. That is taught in these passages. So do you know that following Jesus will cost you your worldly taught perspective? Do you know that? Did you know the movement of the gospel of Christ will cost personal sacrifices? Did you know that? Can you remember the zeal you had when you first found Christ and now have lived Christ through the lens of reality? Big difference, right? That's what he was teaching in these passages. Let's go to our Father in prayer. Father God, we thank you for our midday prayer session in Devo. We thank you that you woke us up this morning and started us out on our way. We thank you for the AM conversation that we had. And we thank you that you have marched us along to our midday session prayer in Devo. Father, are we satisfied with living your cross at this stage of our life? Have we thrown in 
the woes of this life that will so easily ensnare us and keep us away from you. Do we really, really, truly understand what following you, being a disciple, you being part of this movement of reconciliation is all about? Or have we lived so long now since the waters of baptism through the lens of reality? It's something we need to consider and something that we need to think about. Yes, we are not minimizing what is necessary to live, but it's one thing we already know. Before we use that as our playing card, you give us everything that we need. And you give us what we want, but we do have a big want list. But you give us everything we need. So are we satisfied with living your cross behind the stage of your life and making excuses? So let us think about that, dear Father. In Jesus' name we pray these things. Amen. Thank you for dialing in to our midday prayer session. Uh, if you have a prayer request you would like us to give attention to in our midday time together, you can simply leave us a voice message after the tone stating your name and your prayer request, and we'll make it known to God in prayer. Give us a call. Praise and blessings.